Hello all and welcome back to the Burning Crusade. In today's edition of the 60 to 70 leveling guide we are going to be focusing on one thing and one thing only the reputation faction of the Keepers of Time. Now once you reach level 66 the first dungeon in the Keepers of in the uh, Caverns of Time will become available to you. Uh, the Caverns of Time are located back here in Azeroth, in the Old World, uh, in uh, Tenaris, in case you are unfamiliar. Uh, right over here, um, uh, southeast of Gadgetsan, on the uh, eastern portion of the map, there's a little uh, sort of enclosed area of mountains here, and then... Uh, Inside is a cave that leads down into the Caverns of Time. So your first time you will actually need to go there by foot, by traveling to uh, Tenaris. However, once you are honored with the Keepers of Time, you may talk to uh, this girl right here in the dress in the World's End Tavern, and she will teleport you to the entrance of the Caverns of Time. Uh, you don't need a prequest to get these started. Uh, the dungeon summoning stone is outside. Um, yep, you do not need a quest to get started. You just show up here, and I believe this guy, this steward of time right here, will have the quest that starts it all off. So you talk to him and fly yourself all the way down into the cave. you start to pass through this weird area that looks almost like you are going between the fabric of space and time. Whoa, look at those graphics. <laughs> Right away you're going to notice some uh, funky things here because I am playing on a private server and uh, it seems that this area being out of the rules of space and time as it is is also uh, outside of the rules of physics. So being on a private server as I am, I'm going to point out some buggy things. Uh, just some visual bugs that you'll notice around the area. Okay, we have arrived down in the Caverns of Time. I'll do a, a brief tour because um, even though you will do a tour as part of your the quest chain that you... Why do I not have this quest? Oh, of course it is. Um, anyway. Uh, so you will complete a quest down here, and the quest will lead you on a very long and boring tour of the Caverns of Time, but I'm going to do a quick one, um, just because I'd rather just show the dungeons real quick. It actually looks like they fixed all the buggy mobs, kind of. They're untargetable, but they're not swimming throughout the air. Anyway. Uh, going clockwise, it's hard to tell on the map where exactly I am. I would say this is the most, uh, the northwestern um, pathway. This is Old Hills, Bradfoot Hills. It's the first dungeon that you'll do. As you can see, the dungeon portal is down there, and the entrance has one of these um, uh, alliance watchtowers and some uh, Eastern Kingdom style uh, trees moving actually counterclockwise uh, we arrive at the entrance to the black morass or the opening of the dark portal you can see it's dark and uh, looks like a swamp and there's this purple uh, stuff flowing in and out of it that is a dungeon where you um, witness the opening of the dark portal from the first time by Medivh and Gul'dan, and you have to defend Medivh against uh, the infinite dragonflight, which is a uh, faction that is intent on uh, destroying the world for some reason. 
Um, as we continue to move around the circle, we arrive at the pathway that leads in and out of the Caverns of Time. This is where the Quartermaster is, uh, over here by this Horde-style tower. Um, right behind this little fence is this Blood Elf, oh, and she sells. Uh, she sells all of the Caverns of Time, or uh, Keepers of Time. Uh, reputation rewards, uh, which include the tank uh, head enchant, uh, some, as you can see, some enchanting recipes, um, a pretty decent uh, weapon for paladin tanks starting out, as well as casters, uh, some good healing wrists, um, a weird dagger, a decent dagger, but a weird one, and it looks really awesome. Uh, so that's something to think about. And some tank plate leggings uh, are the revered and exalted rewards. In addition to, of course, the key of time, which unlocks the heroic difficulty for all of these dungeons. Uh, the last tunnel down here uh, is going to be coming up here on my right, which is the entrance to the Battle for Mount Hygel, which is a tier 6 raid. Um, fantastic raid. Just absolutely amazing. Um, but I won't spoil it in case you are unfamiliar with it. Uh, by the way, inside the uh, Battle for Mount Hygel instance portal is where you turn in your tier 6 uh, tokens for gear. Uh, just in case you're ever curious or don't know where to turn those in. Uh, that is about it for the Caverns of Time. I'm going to release some dungeon videos uh, for these dungeons uh, probably soon after this. Uh, like I said, at 66, the first dungeon becomes available, Old Hills Brad. Uh, Black Morris becomes available at 68. Um, so you got a couple uh, a couple level gap in between, but just doing those two dungeons alone is plenty uh, reputation to get you to honored, so that you don't have to farm these dungeons for the reputation. As this is the only way to get reputation for the keepers of the time faction. That is about it. Uh, I will see you all next time for our final questing areas of Nether Storm and Shadow Moon Valley. I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to lump them into one video or do separate videos, but uh, I guess I'll figure that out later. Feel free to like, subscribe, push buttons, do things, leave comments, and uh, have a nice day.